Hi everybody, so I just did a couple specific channel messages on here regarding um, housing, uh, finances, that kind of thing. That was just for a few of you. Now I want to get into a more general love reading. So this is going to be for a larger energy group. You know, for those of you that are on my channel, I just sometimes I like giving out those like specific messages that someone just needs to hear just for like one or two people. Um, so just bear with me, you know, even if it's not your story, you know, eventually one of them will be. And the Zodiac readings are much more specific. But um, anyway, let's see what what's the, what's the current energy. And you may or may not be in this energy group. I try to, you know, I try to make it kind of clear what this is about in the title. Don't try to make it fit if it doesn't resonate. Patience, take off your mask. Unleash your creativity. Family and tribe, pride, selling out, alchemy, how teachable are you? Hmm. To me, this kind of feels like somebody that's struggling with being their true self. Now, this could be you or this could be like an insight into what your person is going through if this is your story. But it's almost like it feels like it takes like a lot of patience for this person to finally take off their mask. For this person to like be their true self. For them to unleash their creative side. For them to really, it's, it's almost like this person was like, brought up to think that they had to be a certain way, that they had to communicate a certain way, that they had to express themselves a certain way, that they had to, um, it can be like very like toxic family dy dynamics where it's like they, they just, they have that in their head. It's like childhood upbringing because we have family here and tribe. And usually I see this card as a positive sign, but in this particular spread, like with the energy I'm feeling, I'm actually getting more of a toxic vibe. Like this is like talking about like family upbringing where it's like this person has a lot of masks on or they have, I don't know why I said a lot of masks, <laughs> maybe, maybe multiple masks. Maybe this person has like different personas actually that they they have around like different people, you know, like they have like around their friends, they're, they're a certain way around you. They're a certain way around family. They're a certain way. It's like, they have all these like roles that they play and they feel so out of touch with their free spirited side. They feel so, it just feels like someone who's like so out of touch with their, their creativity, their free spirited side, their, um, I'm hearing their angelic side, like their, like who they really are. It's like they have so many roles that they have to play. It's like they have all these different masks that they have to wear around different people to the point where it almost feels like they've like forgotten who they are. Like they don't, they don't know who they are anymore because they, they fit into all these different roles. Like they're so adamant about being a certain way and keeping up appearances and they have so much on their plate. And it really does feel like it, it stems from, um, like family upbringing, it feels like it stems from like what they went through in childhood with how they were taught. Like they might have been taught like if this is like a masculine energy, they might have been taught like, oh, men have to, you know, they have to work 60 hours a week and they have to provide for their families and they can't show emotion and they can't um, express themselves and they can't pursue the arts. It might have been someone, I'm almost getting like a homophobic kind of energy that this person might have been raised with. Like a, not that this person might not necessarily be gay, but it's almost like a very like, I see like a very like macho figure in this person's life. Like, oh, you can't pursue art or you can't pursue music. That's, that's, you know, that's not what men do. It's like someone that was just really put down. Like they weren't allowed to, um, to just have fun. It's like almost like this person had to grow up at a very young age. It feels like someone who had to start working like in their teenage years. Um, someone who is just really, it's like they have like a sense of like loyalty and dedication and integrity. They're very, they're a very hard worker, but it's like they're out of touch with like that fun side of themselves. Cause it's like almost like maybe their parents try to fulfill their dreams through their child or through their children. Because there's just something about family upbringing here where it's almost like, it just feels like they weren't allowed to have fun. Like they weren't allowed to like be a kid when they were growing up. Like they weren't allowed to like, like 
you know, they didn't get a chance to find themselves, to unleash their creativity, to, to be in touch with that free spirited fun side, you know? So it's like, it takes a lot of patience to wait for this person to like take their mask off and open up because this person doesn't know who they are when they don't have the mask on. It's like, they have all these different roles and it's, it's almost like, it feels like someone who's had to be responsible so much of their life. Like they had to work really hard and survive. Like this could be someone who is like in and out of foster homes. Cause I just get, I just get like the energy of survival. So, I mean, there's, there's probably, this is probably a larger energy group than the last two readings I did, but it just feels like the energy of like survival, like someone that had to like, like pay for everything like early on like as a teenager like had to help you know their parents uh pay for things had to um there could have been physical abuse even they could have been in and out of foster homes there's a few different stories here but it's basically the energy of you know this person even as a kid as a teenager they had to work really hard to survive to get by life wasn't fun for them they didn't get to go out and play with the other kids as you know probably very like once in a while maybe but very rarely it's like someone who had very like strict parents or they just had so much work that they had to do um I feel like this could be this could be a little boy that was like raised by a single mother even because I'm kind of seeing like a like a kid like raking like the leaves outside and like taking care of everything and taking care of a parent that was like um like depressed or sad, like from like a very young age, this wouldn't, you know, this, this isn't, this is like from like, like a child, like they, their father just might not have ever been in the picture is kind of the energy that I get here. Like, or that one parent, either male or female might just not have been in the picture much. Like they had to pick up the slack for, I feel like, I feel like it's either like two very lazy parents that like, they had to kind of pick up the slack for or it's like one parent that was like depressed and kind of lazy and just kind of didn't take care of things um and I feel like a macho kind of energy from like an older male figure as well where it's like they told this person like you have to like you have to be a certain way you have to work hard you have to do this so that was like instilled in them from a very young age so it's like they didn't get to go have fun they didn't get to pursue music or art or the things that they wanted to do as a ch child as a teenager so it's like they they're out of touch with that side of themselves like they don't know what that looks like so it's kind of like giving you an insight into their mentality here where it's saying like be patient you know because when they take off these masks it's like they want to take off the masks but it's like they have all these different roles and responsibilities that they've had since they were like a little kid um they've always had the weight of the world on their shoulders they've always had to pick up the slack for, you know, family, friends, people in their lives. Like this is like the kind of person where it's like everyone relies on them. Everyone goes to them for advice, for money, for support. Like they've gotten used to being used by people. And so it's kind of like the energy of like, you know, when they take off their masks, like be really patient with them because they don't know who they are outside of that. They don't understand who they are outside of those roles. It's like they wanted to pursue these things as a kid. They wanted to pursue art and music and go outside and play with the other kids and have fun and travel and, you know, do what all the other kids were doing, but they didn't get a chance to. So for a lot of them, it's like this is a very new energy. So they they just don't know who they are when the mask is off. They don't they don't understand how to interact with like the world, with people. Um and with family and pride, family and tribe here. We have, yeah, it's interesting because after that we have pride and selling out. It's almost like they start taking off the mask, but then it's like this family like upbringing kind of comes into play here with pride and selling out. It's like they, they feel vulnerable, but then it's like they don't have like a sense of self because they're so used to like being the person that everyone relies on you know they're so used to having to be in that energy in those different roles that they just feel like completely exposed when they don't have that and so it's like this sense of pride comes in here um because it's like when they start pursuing that like when they start pursuing art or music or the things that they really wanted to pursue as like a child or a teenager I feel like there is some dream this person might have had like as like a teenager that they kind of let go of because 
some macho figure in their life told them that like men can't pursue that kind of career. Like it could have been like to be a musician or to be an artist or to be like, um, like something, something in the arts, like something that was very like creative and kind of free spirited and, and not like a traditional career path. And I feel like someone was like, someone put them down and someone was like some macho figure was like, Oh no, men can't do that. Men need to make this and this, this amount of money. Men need to do this and this and this men can't be men. Men can't be artists. Men can't be musicians. Like that's for women. Like someone was very, someone had very like toxic old fashioned kind of views when it comes to masculinity. And it really sort of just made this person. It's like, this person has like a solar plexus block. Um, and maybe like a root chakra block as well because of this, because of this energy that kind of blocked them from, um, you know, pursuing the things that they wanted to pursue. And yet this feels to me like someone who like, like it feels like some, yeah, it feels like someone who, I think there's a few different stories here for, so for some, it was like a toxic masculine figure, um, could be like a stepfather even or something, but it just feels like. It just feels like a kid who always had to like work, always had to be strong, always had to hide their emotions. Um, for some, I feel like this person was like in and out of foster homes or it's like if they did have both parents, it's like they didn't have like a positive role model. Because for this entire energy group, I'm not getting like a positive male role model at all. Like I'm not getting like this person either did not have a father or if they did have a father, the father was like very like abusive and kind of toxic, um, like aggressive for this energy group. So it, it's it's like it's just that energy of they like always had to survive. They have this certain mentality. And so when they take off the masks, this is probably for someone that's like wondering like, like you're in like a relationship with someone and it's like you don't understand why they're not being vulnerable with you. It's like whenever they take off the mask, it's almost like they they panic and they put the mask back on because like I said, they don't know who they are without that. And I feel like with pride and selling out, it's like when they when they feel exposed and vulnerable, it's like they hear that like toxic father's voice in their head or that toxic masculine or, you know, that like codependent like mother that they had to like you know if their father um was like out like like cheated or like was in and out of the picture was in and out of the picture or something like that it's it's like they had to pick up the slack for both their parents I just get the energy of like a kid who did not get to play with other kids very much it's really sad but um but yeah it's like their pride comes into play because they hear that toxic masculine figure like in their head saying like you know, you can't pursue art, you can't pursue music, you can't pursue the things that you want, like, emotions are for pussies, like, you have to work a certain, you know, you have to be busy all the time, and you have to work all the time, that's what a man does, and if you're not working all the time, then you're not of value to society, and just, just very, like, toxic masculinity energy here, um, and so it's like, they want to rest, they want to be gentle, they want to be vulnerable, they want to take off the masks, um, but they're so used to having to be responsible all the time. They're so used to having, it, it's almost like PTSD kind of energy where they're like so used to like having everyone, like they panic almost. It's like they're so, it, this is almost someone that like feels like they probably don't sleep very well at night or somebody who has like nightmares because I'm getting something with like poor sleep as well. Like they, um, it's like just very high stress. Like this person is like so like ready to just jump and have to, you know, take care of this person, take care of that person, loan someone money, um, drive three hours to help someone out with car troubles, like whatever, you know what I mean? It's like, they're so used to like people using them and people just having to work and work and survive their entire life that it's almost like when they have fun, like when they try to tune into this creative energy, like they try to pursue their passions, they try to pursue their hobbies, they try to just like have fun and, and you know, reclaim themselves and figure out who they actually are. Like they never got a chance to in, in childhood because they spent so much time surviving. So it's like now as an adult, they try to find out who they are. They try to, you know, go on vacation or travel or have fun or just get in touch with that creative side. And they, you know, like I said, they hear that toxic masculine figure in their head saying like, oh, you're lazy or they just feel like, like they can't like relax. It's like their body is so tense. It's like they feel like someone's going to call them any minute and like need them for something or they're going to have to jump up and 
help someone or take care of something, someone. It's like they're always in survival mode. So it's two things. For one, it's, it's always being in that survival mode, always like feeling like someone is going to depend on them, like just like overly like masculine energy. Like they're not in touch with their feminine side. It's like overly like aggressive masculine energy where they're like, they're like, I can't relax. I can't rest. Like someone's going to need me. I have to be responsible. I have to work and work and work. And it's like, there's no enjoyment in this person's life. Like they're just kind of like exhausted and they need to kind of get out of that mentality and balance their masculine and feminine side. Um, you know, otherwise life is just kind of like stagnant and boring. It's like, if you're just working, it's like this person is just in survival mode all the time. So there's that, um, that like survival mode and feeling like, you know, people are relying on them. Everyone's depending on them. Like, you know, just not wanting to rest because it's like they want to be prepared for anything that could come up. It's like very like PTSD kind of energy. And then the second thing, like I said, is is there that toxic masculine voice in their head where it's like they feel even if no one needs them, like let's say they have a good week where it's calm and nobody needs them for anything. They still feel like that masculine energy is like attached to them, kind of saying like, you know, you're lazy for for what are you doing going on vacation for three or four days? Like you're lazy for that. You know, what are you doing? You should be working. You should be, you know, you should, it's like that energy of like, you should never have downtime. You should just always be working. You should always be strong. You should never show your emotions. You should never, um, show any weakness. It's like almost like inhumane. It's like, it's just, it's too much. Um, so that's why like when this person does allow themselves to take off the mask and try to, you know, find themselves and get in this energy, the pride steps in because they're, it's like a defense mechanism against this toxic um, older male's voice that's like in their head pretty much, you know, and that's when they end up selling out and they end up just going back. It's like a cycle that they're on. Alchemy, how teachable are you? I think they're transmuting it though. Like I think they are finding themselves finally. But it's kind of like a question of like how teachable are you because they need to unlearn these uh, childhood patterns or they're just going to go in circles again and again and again. Um, yeah, so that's kind of some insight if you're dealing with someone like that or maybe that is you. Maybe it's maybe for some of you this is you and it's kind of saying like, you know, you have to he it's hard. But you have to understand where this pad where this thought pattern comes from. It's not coming from you. This isn't how normal people operate. This is coming from this toxic male figure. And this he probably got it from, you know, his father, his grandfather. It's probably been passed down from generations to generations. And you get to decide if that cycle ends with you, if you're gonna, you know, transmute this, if you're gonna change this and learn to be vulnerable. But it's gonna, it's gonna require really stepping out of your if this is a person you're dealing with, it's going to, it's going to be like a back and forth process. You know, it's going to be like really kind of up and down for a while. Cause it's like when they, like I said, when they take off the mask, it's like, there's that, that gut reaction, like, Oh God, like I'm exposed, like, like, like PTSD, like afraid of this older man, like coming in and kind of like, um, you know, hurting them again, like just hearing their voice in, in their head. So they need to heal from that. And it just, let's see here. Let's see what else I can get on this. It just feels like a cycle. The, I think the key is it's like when they take off the mask, they need to be, they need a lot of gentle energy when the mask is off. Um, a lot of understanding to like not be triggered and put the mask right back on. But it's like they also need to just sit with that energy because like I said, they don't know who they are. They don't, they didn't get to explore those things that most kids get to explore. Like as children, as teenagers, like usually you get to explore like art and music and different things in school. This is someone that didn't get to have fun. This is somebody that like had to like support their parents financially or something of that sort. Or they were like, they just didn't, they didn't get to have fun. Um... So like this person kind of needs to, to have more fun in their life and they need to, um, it's like they need to sit with that energy. They're going to feel vulnerable. They're going to feel like it's like a loss of self. Like they have all these different personas that they have around different people and they don't really know who they are outside of that. And so they panic when they don't have the masks to, to hide behind. 
but they're going to have to go through that. Honestly, if they want to transmute this, if they want to come through that, they're going to have to sit through that energy. They're going to have to just panic and not know who they are for a while and explore these things and find themselves and push past that voice and realize that their life doesn't have to be like that. This person doesn't have control over them anymore. They really need to take their control back and their power back and transmute this. You know, how teachable are you? Alchemy. Instead of just selling out. But um, it's definitely a process that requires patience. But yeah, stepping out of their comfort zone and just sitting with this energy, like they're not going to know who they are for a while. They're, they're not going to, they're just not going to know who they are. And it's going to take time. They're going to have to like, it's almost like starting over from scratch. They're going to have to explore these different hobbies, this art, music, these different things they were always curious about and passionate about, but they never got the chance to, they were always in survival mode. So they, they, you know, just now for the first time, they're going to be like really exploring these things. Um, and it's going to be like a trial and error process where they're not going to completely know what they like at first. It's going to be kind of a mess at first, but um, yeah, it's just, it's going to require patience. Whole, yeah, there's there's a lot of damage. Hole in the soul, say what you mean. Love. I feel like this also, this pride, this masculine energy also stops them from expressing emotion. Like, say what you mean and love. Yeah, because they have... It's like they have like this victim consciousness almost. Yeah, they feel like trapped. Self-sabotage. It's like they sabotage themselves. Like, they don't know how to speak their truth. So it's a process, um, if, you know, if this is like a friend of yours or someone you're in a relationship with, I would just say try to be gentle, try to be understanding now that you have this kind of insight into their background. And you'll know if this is for you or not, you know, like you'll know if this is your story, like this would probably be some stuff that you're already aware of, like you might have already talked to this person about having like an, them having an abusive father or an abusive stepfather or something of that sort, like you're going to know about some of their childhood traumas. Um, but yeah, like, you know, from this new perspective, like understanding this energy, kind of just understand how they feel when they do allow themselves to be vulnerable, that it's like them almost doing it for like the first time. Like it's not, you guys have very drastically different upbringings. So it's kind of like, like be really patient and understanding with this person, be really gentle, kind of like ease them into things. It's almost like they just, they have to learn who they are from scratch basically you know it, it it's a process but um anyway thank you for watching if you want a private reading just send me an email my email is dragonenchantress at aol.com and that is right below in the description box